So object-oriented programming uh, and JavaScript has always been something that has perplexed many, and rightly so because it's like there's the whole classical object-oriented uh, programming, you know, paradigms and um, inheritance and classes, and it's only recently that JavaScript has gained these kinds of abilities and syntaxes. So prototypal inheritance, um, the ES5 way, uh, or ECMAScript, um, ECMAScript 5, was definitely pretty difficult to implement yourself. Um, I can speak from experience, and um, I can also say that the new way of doing things, uh, the ES6 way, um, is, is much simpler. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and talk about the differences and kind of the why behind um, each, each thing that I'm doing, and um, we can take a look at the results and talk about them and go from there. So. I have um, a couple of examples here, an uh, ES5 example and an ES6 example. And um, I'm actually going to go through and, um, well, I'll change this in just a sec. But uh, specifically, there's some there's a question here uh, that, you know, basically, El Chapo has been having some um, issues trying to figure out when to use things like object create, why, um, and, you know, like, what does this whole syntax of you know like the, the like adding methods to the prototype or setting a constructor equal to um, to something? Uh, in this case, he has it as the prototype. But uh, we'll, we'll cover all this uh, looking at the ES5 example that I have here. So it's a fairly classic example. I know it's not necessarily incredibly interesting to do the whole animal and then animals that inherit it uh, from that, but um, it works. So we have an animal class, and um, keep in mind, I say class, but in ES5, there's no actual idea of classes or, or syntax for creating classes with, with, with a class keyword. Uh, class is still a keyword in ES5, which means you can't necessarily just use it. Uh, you can't certainly say var class is equal to something. So they had it in mind. It was still in the spec to, to eventually use that as a keyword. It just wasn't implemented. So instead, what we have are constructor functions. So it's just the idea of using the function keyword to create a uh, camel case capitalized um, first letter name for what will be a class. But under the hood, it's still just a function, a uh, regular old JavaScript function. Now we're using some syntax here to add properties to this function. Uh, I'm just going to be OCD and correct some of my um, my indentation as I go through here. But basically, we have um, object properties, and we're defining um, sound and legs. So this animal is going to have a certain number of legs, and it's going to make a sound. And we we define what those are when we create the new animal. So we pass that information when calling the instructor. Uh, control. So I'm, I'm just going to ask what is probably kind of a dumb question, but right now, are you making a function, or are you making an object, or are you like making a function that makes an object? What What is this thing that you're writing right now? Uh, more so the latter. Uh, so I am, I, I'm writing a function that can be used to create new objects. So that is basically what a constructor is. Uh, it constructs objects. So this function is uh, meant to be used with the new keyword. Notice that you know there's, it's not returning anything. But when used with the new keyword, so if I say new animal, and I pass in uh, two and I say, um, uh, I don't know, um, tweet, a two-legged two -legged bird that says tweet. So I'll just say bar bird birdie. Um, yeah, this will create a new animal, and it will return it, even though there's no return value here. So that's, that's basically what a constructor does when... Um, Got it when used with the new keyword. 
So here, um, along with a little bit of what was was being asked in the question here, uh, tacking on methods to the prototype. Basically, what we want to do is we want to have a method on animal that returns the sound that the animal makes. Now, what's the advantage of doing this here? What, why, why are we doing that? Why not simply say something like this dot speak is equal to that? Well, sure, we could do this, and it will work. And the way that we perceive it when, when using our, our code, it'll actually be exactly the same. Uh, we, could, we could make an instance like we had before of birdie. And I could say birdie.speak and console log that. And somewhere in here, says tweet. So that works fine. Um, and I could, I could do that even um, getting rid of this. But the thing is, um, what this does is it actually creates uh, this speak function brand new every single time you call this, uh, you, you call new uh, on, the, on the constructor function. So the point here is that it's not memory uh, optimized because you're, you're creating a new function for every single instance of the animal. So what, what this does when you, when you put it on the prototype instead of putting it on this inside the constructor function is it creates one place where this function is defined on the prototype. And when you create a new instance of animal and call speak on it, like I did before with, um, with var birdie. Now, instead, this looks at the prototype. So it's saying, okay, I don't have a speak function defined directly on this, like we did here. Instead, I'm going to look at the prototype. And I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if something, if a method by the name of speak is defined on the prototype, and it'll find it. And that's exactly what it does when it outputs tweet. 